Hi, I'm Dr. Otten, a fellowship trained sports medicine specialist. Over the past 12 years, a large portion of my medical practice has involved regenerative orthopedic procedures and treatments. Regenerative orthopedics is a rapidly evolving field over the past 15 years. The procedures of regenerative orthopedics is often called orthobiologics or cell-based procedures as well. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a few things that I think would be important in your medical treatment and medical options. Foot pain affects millions of Americans. In fact, some studies assert that upwards of 77% of Americans will suffer foot pain at some point in their lives. Most often, foot pain is treated with simple injections or cortisone shots, orthotics, or even a change in your footwear or shoes. There are three main factors that create an ideal storm to the slow healing of foot injuries. First, as we age, structures in the foot begin to degrade slowly. Second, healing in the foot is extremely slow due to the fact that the blood supply is so far from the heart. And finally, the foot and ankle have to endure about seven pounds of force for each pound above the waist. Putting these three factors together, you can easily see why healing and foot injuries are so difficult to treat. In this video, I'm gonna discuss plantar fascia as well as something called metatarsalgia. Plantar fasciitis sufferers typically feel pain in the bottom of the heel. Oftentimes, it's worse when they first wake up in the morning. Plantar fascia is caused from repetitive injuries, often chronic slow micro tears in the insertion of the plantar fascia on the heel, or technically called the calcaneus. Metatarsalgia sufferers, on the other hand, suffer pain on the bottom portion of the foot at the base of the toes. The most common location for metatarsalgia is typically the second or third toe at the knuckle location. Metatarsalgia is most commonly caused by a loss of fat padding in the foot. The fat tissue actually adds a padding layer for the foot bones or the metatarsals. Bone pain can often occur if this fat pad thins or loses its density. Although the treatments can vary with these two injuries, the use of your own healing cells can be extremely potent therapy for you. For the plantar fascia patients, transplanting either your platelets or your bone marrow stem cells or adipose stem cells can be a very effective therapy. For more severe cases, I typically utilize your own stem cells from your bone marrow or your adipose tissue. And these procedures can be a life-changing event. Plantar fascia can be an absolutely debilitating injury. For healing metatarsalgia, I found that transplanting your own adipose and your adipose stem cells has given my patients long-term excellent results. Basically what I'm doing is rebuilding and repairing the fat pad that cushions the foot bone to give you your quality of life back. Conventional therapies can be very effective, but for many patients suffering from foot pain, these have failed and are not wholly effective. There are medical procedures here available at Cell Access using cell-based procedures to heal your pain and your injuries naturally using your own cells.